Number two, it's not enough to be sensitive to his presence. You have to desire a visitation. Desire it passionately. Hello, somebody. Amen. Yeah. Desire is feeling, you know, having this unsatisfied feeling. You know, people who don't who experience visitation of God are people who are not satisfied with their conditions. They want something different, yes, something more, something Amen. better, Amen. something new. Yes. They have a desire. Look at Abraham. Genesis verse 18 from verse 1 to 3 where we read. The Bible says he saw three men and he ran to them. He ran to them. You know, he had a desire. He ran to them. Go to verse 3. Yes. Okay, verse 2, verse 2, and then verse 3. When he lifted up his eyes, no, three men stood by. When he saw them, he ran to meet them from the tent door and bowed himself towards the ground. And he said, my Lord, if I found favor on your side, pass me not away. You see, I want you to come. Don't pass away. I want, I want to experience what you carry. He had a desire. You see, when they're cooking restaurants, one of the things, I think there's one restaurant that says, you know, they say free smells, you know. They, they, when, <laughs> that's the advertisement, they say free smells. Yeah, they, because the, the smell, the aroma is to, to draw you, to entice you. Yeah, so the signal is to stimulate your desire. If, 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 if somebody is frying something or cooking something, and it's smelling nice around you. That's why when they want to do whatever, they, in the open place, they, 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 they begin to cook something. Mm -hmm. To attract people who have a desire. If you don't have a desire, it smells like that. Mm -hmm. so, so many people don't have this desire for something supernatural. You have to desire something. Desire a visitation. Mm -hmm. God, I want you to visit my life. I want you to come into my life. I have this longing. Mo, mo, I mean, um, David said, one thing have I desired of the Lord. I have a desire of the Lord. I'm going to seek after my desire. If you want God visitation, have a desire. Can I hear amen? amen? Have a desire. Desire is very powerful. Desire is an intense feeling to want to experience it. Why won't you want God to visit your life? Why won't you want God to... Why won't you want a visitation? Like I think I shared my story with you. I was a sinner, but I have always desired God. If God is real and God is alive, God, please, can't you just reveal yourself to me? Can't you just show me yourself? If God can help me, God, why can't you? I want you to come. Let you, I want you to come into my heart. I have this desire. Can I hear amen? Mm -hmm. Your desire yes. will, uh, will, will lead you to acquiring things. Yes. When people have desire, they can go to any extent right. to have their desires met. Amen. Yes. But when people have no desire, they are, they are passive. Most people who are passive, who are not on fire, who are, you know, who don't acquire or express visitation, they don't have no desire. Amen. Yeah, they don't have no desire. But when you have a desire, it will attract the visitation of God. Amen. Can I hear you? Amen. Amen. So you need passionate desire. Mm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Then... Number three, I'm moving on. You need, when you have desire, you need to pray passionately. Every desire will lead you, every, super, every supernatural or divine desire will lead you to prayer. Hello, somebody. Amen. Pray, desire, the, the proof of desire is how intense you pray. Mm. The Bible says, whatsoever you desire, when you pray, because God, the only thing you can, the only way you can get God is through your prayer. It's a communic prayer, it's a communication of faith. Amen. You have to talk to Him, and that's what prayer is. Communis God say, Call unto me, and I will answer you. So you have to call on God. So your desire should lead you to call on God Amen. passionately. Abraham said in verse 3, Are you there? Mm -hmm. Lord. If now I have found favor on your side, what I pray thee, I pray thee, pass not away from thy servant. I pray, pass not away. I pray. I'm pleading. I'm asking. I'm beseeching you. I'm begging you. 
don't pass me by. I pray. So people of prayer and people of desire, when you see somebody say, oh, why are you praying too much? Your desire is much. That's why you are praying much. Your desire, and when you have passionate, hot desire, you know, uh, intense passion, passion is intense desire. A feeling of emotion. I can't do without this. I really want God. You see, once God comes into your life, all these things will have cataloged. Many things that we couldn't even finish in one month will happen to you. There's nothing you want because He is the one that filleth all in all. Yes, sir. He fills all in all. He will fill your life, fill everything you need in your life. He will take care of all your desire. Everything. He he, he, he is the all sufficient God. He's sufficient. He's sufficient in all things. Yes, sir. So if, if, if anyone, that's why blind Bartimaeus, they said to him, keep quiet. The Bible said, he cried the more a great deal. Mm-hmm. When you pray, the devil will tell you, quiet down. Mm-hmm. God won't come. God won't answer. Like, blind Bartimaeus said, man, I'm going to keep praying. He, 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 he made it a more, he prayed more intensely Amen. for God. Mm-hmm. That's, the, that's, that's passionate prayer. Mm-hmm. And Jesus had to stand still. Mm. And the man that has never seen before, may what you have never seen before happen in your life. Amen. May you receive your ultimate desire, your Amen. ultimate dream, your goal Amen. that will change your life permanently. Amen. Oh yes, did you think Black Batman's life will change permanently? Yes, Abraham was praying here with passion and his story changed yes, by one visitation. Amen. By one visitation, one visitation from God. Yes, Lord. Somebody say, pray for it passionately. Pray for it passionately. Another man in scripture is, is called Jairus in Mark chapter 5 from verse 22 to 33. The Bible says, look at Jairus here. Jairus had a situation in his life and he heard that Jesus was in his territory. Mark chapter 5 from verse 22 to 33. Mark chapter 5, verse 22 to 33. He heard that Jesus was in his territory. So what did he do? He said, Behold, there cometh, there cometh one of the rulers of the synagogue, Jairus by name, and when he saw him, what? He fell at his feet. And then he besought him, what? Greatly. Greatly. That's passion. Please. He said, My little daughter lieth at the point of death. What? I pray you. Please come. And lay your hands on her that she may be healed and she may live. I pray you. Prayer changes things. Yes. Prayer moves God. Amen. The only thing we, we are told in scripture that can move God passionately, I mean effectively, is our prayer. God said, Call unto me. Mm. And I will ask. In fact, if I say, Ask and keep on asking. Call and keep on calling. Pray and keep on praying. Amen. He pray with passion. Be, if you want to enjoy. People who pray a lot enjoy God's visitation a lot. Yeah. Pray a lot. A, a great man of God, I call him Grandpa T.L. Osborne of Blessed Memory. He, they went to India for their ministry and for, is it 12 or close 12 or, 12 or 20 years in India, there was no result because they went with, 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 with the gospel. And when they got there, they had their own Bible, the book. And when they got to India, India had, every house in India has a God. So different God. So they, it was difficult for them to be able to present their their case or their gospel. Because they say, the Bible said, they say, oh, our books. They, everyone was bringing all kind of books. They were like disappointed, almost young, then him and his wife. They came back to America. And then he, after they came to America, they were like feeling depressed and discouraged. Then he began to, you know, read the Bible. Then he went somewhere. He saw a great man of God. God was using mightily in miracles and all that. He said after that service, when he saw how the deaf could hear, the dumb could speak, he went inside the house and told his wife, I'm not coming out of this room until Jesus appeared to me. Oh, yeah. And that changed everything. He said, Jesus came and met him. Jesus appeared to him. Jesus appeared to him. And their ministry opened up. Their destiny opened up. 
what I'm saying to you is that he prayed. He, he told us, look, I'm not coming out. I'm not coming out. Intense prayer. To, to see God, you have to be you have to be in the place of prayer. You know, a whole lot of people, five minutes, two minutes prayer. How, which, which, which God are you trying to say? The, the God, you know, <laughs> who sits upon the throne, before he even moves his foot and get up, it takes time. So you have to spend time to get him. Amen. Yeah. Become a prayerful person. Then God, because if one was there, Jesus entered his room. He saw Jesus enter and touch him. It's a place of prayer. There's no other way. There's no other way. Amen. It's your prayer. So you have to love praying. Praying is not just praying for things. You are praying for things. You are praying for car. You know, if those are the things, reasons you are praying, you don't need to pray for those things. Don't go get, just go, go, go get loan or something you're going to be doing. But I'm talking about divine visitation. Praise God. Hallelujah. Yeah, but some long skills. I said some Lord who can kill you because you know, but when God comes, He's gonna give you uh, stress-free living. Amen. That's why you pray. Receive grace to pray. Amen. Passionately to become passionate in the place of prayer. One prayer topic can take you hours. Do you remember Jesus? When Jesus Himself was praying in the Garden of Gethsemane, when before He died, He was praying one prayer: "Lord, Thy will be done. Lord, let Thy will be done." For three hours, Lord, Thy will be done. That will be done because on that cross he needed God. Say, God, <laughs> I need your presence to go on this cross. I need your presence. Receive grace in the name of Jesus. Amen. I say, receive grace in the name of Jesus Amen. Christ. So pray passionately, passionate prayer, not a lucid, lukewarm lack of, you know, prayer that doesn't connect with anything that can't pull God in. Amen. I say, prayer, that's the kind of prayer that can pull God in. Yes. May you pray that prayer in the name of Jesus Amen. that will change your life. Jairus prayed, and Jesus followed him, and his daughter that was dead came back to life. Is that not visitation? Yes. yes. His, your, whatever it is that, that is dead can come back to life through your prayer. 